crew and welcome back to Copanyang Island. Oh, the day has turned on an absolute beauty. Oh, but the first thing that I saw when I started looking through the map of this place was this big giant eyesore, basically. So it turns out it was a, an airport that was proposed. I want to see if like it still looks exactly like the map, which is just decimated, or maybe there's been some native regeneration only hope so yeah let's uh, adventure down uh, this way well I'm already sad if this is the situation is because uh, wow it's gorgeous look at how beautiful this is oh my goodness and the fact that there is just this gigantic slashing cut out of the, the middle of what I'm assuming was all just jungle like this uh, so who, who thought that was a bloody good idea unbelievable mate Go, go, go. Ooh, what a beautiful jungle. What's left of it, especially. Mm. Just gotta do the obligatory foot wash every time I cross through the water. Very much a running theme on this channel, and one I intend on keeping alive. Damn, she's steep. Oh, I, I don't know if the, the GoPro makes this out, but whoa, this is real steep. <laughs> but I guess this would have been the road that would have been main access from the airport. Oh my goodness, it is not in good condition. If this was wet, it would be impossible. Oh my goodness. Why do we cut these down? <laughs> Sentimental. How can you walk in here and be like, tear it out? Tear it all out. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, this is what it should be. <laughs> this is. Oh, spectacular. All right, I've just stopped in the middle of, well, this side jungle, this side not jungle, but I just wanted to show you guys something because, eh, well, I didn't, I'm sure maybe a lot of people might be in the same position as me, didn't know where pineapples really came from. And there it is. If you never thought about where a pineapple came from, those are pineapples. They're uh, part of the species of bromeliad. I'm pretty sure is the right way to say it. <laughs> bromeliad. And a lot of trees, like in the jungle, you actually find bromeliads living up in their branches. Um, but in this case, <laughs> ground dwelling and have a delicious fruit. Mm, yummy. Yeah, this is super weird because obviously they had some kind of plan <laughs> to have an airport here. So there's these roads that have been constructed, but there is nobody out here, and there is nothing out here. Okay, so I found what I was looking for, and it is, wow, I'm only just seeing a glimpse of it now, but it is way worse than I was expecting to see. Oh, this is just devastating. What the, what, who was, who thought this was a good idea? Oh my goodness, that is so bad, anyway. Well, let's go and have a look, shall we? We are... Uh, start seeing over there. Look at that. What were they thinking? Again, to my knowledge, I will do further research and put it into the video now ish that this was meant to be an airport and who thought it was a good idea to put one right there ah unbelievable all right we are getting close now which is crazy to think that we're just about to enter upon what was meant to be an airport all right i found somewhere pretty obscure <laughs> because just considering where we are 
I haven't seen another person for ages and ages. There's obviously a couple of little farms and stuff out here, but there is no people around. But I've just found like this. Well, it looks like a lookout point, so let's climb on up. Well, it's definitely a lookout point, because look at where I can look out onto. Ooh, and kind of fresh and new. So, what is going on here? Oh, hello, up there. Man. What is this for? Holy hell. Well, that's pretty awesome. I was not expecting to pop up here. Woo! So mental. Who's done this? I don't think this was government sanctioned. Who is sketchy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, it's beautiful up here though. Wow, here is a pretty good reference point. So this is kind of like the, obviously with the coast being right here, this is the very edge of where the, the airport would have been and planes would have come and take off in that direction. So you can, knowing how long a, a um, runway can be, that is a huge chunk of rainforest that's just been carved out through there and because it's so deep there's no way that that's going to self-regenerate easily. Oof, nasty stuff. It's so beautiful, like they've destroyed all of that for nothing. So very strange is the existence of this place. Well firstly one building here and then another one right here built into the rocks. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's built into the rocks. And it's abandoned, clearly. Whoa. Oh my goodness, what a place. <laughs> Why is this abandoned? Look at this. Yew. Oh my goodness. What a view. Got a kitchen. And down here, it makes the rocks this tiny door. It goes to oh, it goes to a bathroom. <laughs> but no windows, no windows to check out the view. <laughs> I was not expecting to find this place up here. Oh my goodness! Built right into the rock, and then just. Nothing, empty, and abandoned. All right, it's getting a bit windy. Sorry if that's gonna damage the audio, but, oh, so random. I guess maybe rooms for rent? Yeah, damn. Someone got well ahead of themselves. It is locked. It's locked and dark tinted. What is going on in that room? Nothing else was locked. Oh, how dare you tempt me. Oh. But whoever built this craziness. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well. Look at that tree. Look at her. Oh. That is some Avatar style stuff right there. Ooh, there she is. God, what a cool looking specimen on all of these rocks too. And then like right behind me, this blue abandoned house. <laughs> it's so weird. Just look at those roots. They are so sexy. <laughs> Damn. Wild. <laughs> oh dear, what a place. What a strange find. Alrighty, I have just arrived at what I'm assuming was either the start or the end of the runway, or maybe they did the same thing. But 
because of what this island is made of, just this sort of like sandy sand, <laughs> the erosion here is just mental. So just look at that, look at what they would have had to be battling with. It was a failed project from the start, so who <laughs> thought it was a good idea? And I mean, what are we just about to come across? Well, if you've ever wondered what it looked like underneath a jungle, this is it. This is what it's all about. What a massive waste. <laughs> this just keeps going for ages. Oh, and they were so far away from being able to do anything out here as well. Why couldn't they have stopped before they even started? From here, a big trench running right through there. And just over the other side of there, it's just a drop off. I feel like with the way the erosion is here, it's only gonna be a matter of time before the whole, whole cliff side starts to give away. So let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't want none of that happening. Oh crap, it's already happening. <laughs> How do I get out of here? It's eroded. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Motocross style on the scooter. Once again, just a reminder, this should all be jungle, right? Instead, it's just been decimated and turned into this. What happened or why they decided that it was a good idea to build an airport right on the next island over from already has an airport? Who thought that was a good idea as well? I mean, putting it in the jungle to start with, but who thought it was a good idea to build an airport next to an airport, basically? I mean, come out! Alright, I think this is the bit that we could sort of see from the very first sighting from the road. And um, it's definitely the most sort of like flattened area. So I'm guessing everything was sort of meant to be coming down to like that level, all back the way through there. But they just destroyed all of the good stuff and then just left it here and now it's just used by quad bikers to race around which admittedly does look fun yeah here is definitely the most sort of telling location of just how crap this is because you can see on either side up here, just the rainforest all up in through there. And of course, on that side as well. And then just plowed straight through the middle. This wasteland. <laughs> I think I've said this about five times today, but who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> that I'd really love to know. All right, well, I'm down the other end now, and it's just time to leave because it's sad. Sad to seeing, like, what there was versus what we've been left with for, for nothing, absolutely nothing. And uh, I don't know, there's hardly even, I have no idea at what level things need to change so that things don't happen like this again, but it's government legislature in all governments need to make sure that there's things that just don't happen like this. Oh, and then like just to be left like this and not someone come in and at least try and turn it back to how it should be. Oh, hello folks. Okay, well, I've just walked half an hour down and half an hour back on that road and it wasn't particularly worth it. <laughs> so it turns out that this is the end of the road for us today. Oh, I'm glad for that because it's warm and sweaty. But yeah, oh, what do you say about that kind of situation, eh? Oh, yeah. Some people, you'd love to just get your hands on them and give them a good spanking, wouldn't you, for making those decisions. Oh, now it's just sitting there like that, so... The only thing that we can do is ourselves fund reforestation so that hopefully when crap like that is happening somewhere, the reverse is happening somewhere else. So that's all I can urge you guys to do. That's the whole purpose of this channel. 
And if you want to see more, you can subscribe and watch me next time. That'd be awesome. Oh, time to catch some breath, have some drink, go for a swim. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye-bye.